What's up, Rad Fam? Welcome to another video. If you are new to this channel, we are tracking our one year long bicycle trip around the world in vlog form. And we are also hoping to build a big community of cycle tourists. Mm -hmm. There are people hoping to become cycle tourists. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So we're doing things like talking about our gear and the things that we've br brought with us mm -hmm. to give you an idea of what you might want to bring with you on your future or current trip. Maybe you need to order something new. So today we're gonna to be talking all about the quad lock uh, phone case. And that's just something that you can use to have on your bike instead of you know look, taking your phone out of your pocket or out of a mm -hmm. case that's in a bag somewhere. It's just right on the frame. So today, quad lock case, Darren's gonna walk us through it. Here we go. All right, do you walk us through your quad lock? With my quad lock, I chose to get the, the style that attaches to the stem, um, not the, the headset. So it just has two rubber mechanisms right here that wrap around. And it's rubber see, mechanisms, oh, rubber, rubber bands. Rubber bands that, and they, it's quite stiff. Um, they have other options um, for your handlebar positioning. So whatever suits you. I liked this because this is a wasted space on the stem. Like what else is gonna go here? The handlebar, I like having lights or other um, accessories. So all I had to get was the phone case and they have a phone case for um, pretty much all phones and you just have to order the proper one. And then what it does is it locks right in. So you can just push and twist. To get it off, you push down on the blue mechanism and then you just twist and pull. This uh -huh. goes down and it locks in place. And it's very and secure. We've gone over gravel roads, we've gone on maybe semi hiking mountain bike paths and it it has not gone anywhere. And my bike has fallen a couple times over and the phone's been fine. Cool. Can you show me the case? The case is really nice. It's it's a, a little heavy, but it gives you a lot of protection. It has rounded borders. It's nice and secure. Just like that. I have my SIM card. Cool. And that's the inside. It's a nice... So uh, when you buy it, do you get both parts or just one? No, one part. Usually they have a package, the case and the, the stand. Mm. But you have to buy separately or in a package because not everyone has the same phone. Oh, I would highly recommend this. This is so much easier than having it in a bag or, uh, you know, just having it on the bike. It's really nice and accessible mm. and I can just tap it on. Yeah. And I, we just both find that for the kind of riding that we do, a Garmin is not necessary because we're not tracking what we're doing. Mm -hmm. We just kind of input our maps as we go along. And the interface is a lot easier to see than on a Garmin. So you get the benefit of having your phone and a map that's like super colorful and the GPS is right in there. I and can even make phone calls if I need to. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if you're supposed to recommend, but you can have it on speaker and- Oh, you could like talk to someone yeah. while you're riding. Yeah, yeah I've done that a true. couple times. That's true. Yeah, I, I'm a little jealous because I just have my phone like in a pouch and I'll just take it out and look at it, which is fine for me. I'm comfortable riding with one hand, but I think Darren definitely has the advantage mm -hmm. of having this quad lock case. So yeah, if you're looking for a case to mount your phone on your bike, I think that this is the best one out there. I've seen a yeah. lot of them. And in our last tour, I had the, the style that attaches to the bar right here. And it mm, was just like the clear case, the clear case. And I hated it. it you supposedly was you're supposed to be able to touch the screen through the case. It never worked. Whenever it got wet, it wouldn't work. And then eventually I would just have to zip it out and I stopped even using it. Yes, what happens when it rains? Oh, my phone is waterproof or water resistant. So I just leave it out most mm. of the time. And you're it, fine. Yeah. And if it's like a deluge, then I'll put it in the bag. I'll mm. just stuff it in my sack. But. Stuff it in the stuff sack there. Yeah, they do, they do make like a rain cover. So if your phone isn't waterproof, mm -hmm. then they also sell a rain cover that can go on top of it. Yeah. So, something to consider. We recommend the quad lock. Let us know in the comments below. Have you guys used quad lock? Would you ever consider using a quad mm -hmm. lock? What do you think of this? Good design. We think so. Yeah, so shoot us those comments down below or if you have any other suggestions on how to carry your phone while riding, we would love to hear them. Also, thumbs up if you liked the video and uh, subscribe for more videos. Cheers. Bye guys. <laughs> you guys, isn't that so satisfying? Oof.
I love hearing it just click in. And Quadlock, it's a it's a bit of a weird name. At first I saw people like hashtagging and adding Quadlock and I thought, well, what is there like, they're quad locking up on a big climb or something it means like you're struggling, hashtag Quadlock, it was a tough one. And now it's a, it's a product and it's pretty sweet actually. You guys wanna see Tara? Oh, hi Tara. Ready? Ooh, morning time's not playtime? You were all about it last night. You know, you were all about it last night. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? <laughs>